hours after news broke of the release of the abducted Dakchi schoolgirls, Federal Executive Council delegation, including the Ministers of Information, Interior, and Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, were seen outside the chambers, heading for Dabchi. Just before their departure, the Minister of Information shed more light on the release. The report we got was that uh, one condition that the insurgents gave was that they will be the one to drop the girls. And they dropped them in the early hours of this morning. That's all we know. How, well, how did that become so easy? It was agreed that there will be no force, there will be no confrontation. So that's why it was possible for them to drop the girls. It's part of the agreement that will release the girls, will not use any violence, will not have competition. And don't forget that the lives of these children are much more important to us than you know, any cheap military uh, victory. In a joint briefing after the council's meeting, the president's spokesperson, Mr. Femi Adishino, explained reasons why the president backed down from signing the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement in spite of approval from FEC. He said the country was yet to fully understand the economic and security implications of the agreement. So there has to be further consultations with the different stakeholders. And uh, the final position was that a committee be set up to meet and review the contents of that proposal, and they will do it within two weeks and get back to the Federal Executive Council. Minister of Finance equally revealed that over 1.2 trillion naira has been released as capital budget for 2017, while up to 7.8 billion naira and other sums have been paid to whistleblowers. Uh, but not all of this has been, have we paid on, because some we have, we still have to wait for the legal process. 7.8 billion naira, 378 million dollars, 27,800 pounds. And that includes the cases that you know about and one or two that you don't yet know about. But some of them are uh, still being uh, worked through. Meanwhile, the federal government is assuring that in about 12 months, 18 agencies under the United Nations should resume work at the UN building, which was attacked in August 2011 by terrorists. As council approved 6.97 billion naira for full security furnishing of the building. Gloria Umezuke, Channels Television News.